Is a jackal any good? Well, people have been asking me this ever since Ubisoft released a new teaser trailer of the jackal, and a lot of people came into my stream and asked me, what do you think about the jackal? Is it any good? Is it a game changer? Before I dive into that topic, first off, I want to show you this cool picture that I found on Reddit. It comes by from uh, X647 from the Reddit community, and he posted these pictures. Now, um, most likely this is not real because, you know, you saw the Spider-Man one where the footprints were crawling up the wall. First off, before I get into it, I want to state that I have not played this new DLC yet. Um, so this is just based off the trailers and what I know about the state of the game. But I, however, will be playing this game Monday, January 30th for at least two hours with the new operators, both male and female, and as well as a new map on uh, coastline. Um, but I don't know when I can share that with you. Uh, don't know the embargo quite yet, but uh, I'll let you know. You make sure you hit that subscribe button and next to the subscribe button hit that bell button Once that bell button's enabled you'll be notified as soon as uh, the two-hour gameplay footage is shown on the new operators Okay, so what does this mean for the game? I talked to a lot of other streamers a lot of other um, high-ranking diamonds that plays this game with me and we're really underwhelmed about the Jackal. We feel like it's not an essential operator, definitely not a game changer at all. Um, it really adds no key new dynamic where you need, like you need Habana for the hatches or Thermite to open the holes. You need a Thatcher to roll along to clear out those sites. So, and it feels like Blackbeard is just a stronger operator because um, he has that tactical advantage of just holding spots or uh, doing that quick peek for around the corner uh, when he's scouting a room. Now, of course, uh, every map, round, and mode is situational depending on what uh, operator you use, but right now I see no advantage for Jackal, especially in high level skilled plays, uh, Platinum to Diamond and Pros. I don't see, I don't think we're going to see the Jackal at all in it because there's just so many better options out there in attackers than than what he offers and the thing is when you are at high level play you clear and drone out every building for roamers the, j the jackal is basically uh looks for roamers uh counter roamers to see where they're going or where where they where different people are going and high level play we actually clear out every single room before we move to main objective so just having one guy to clear out room and um an objective is utterly useless in my opinion um, because the whole team clears out room to room by together and they do it in groups of two so this this jackal actually slows down the process or you just send one guy to clear out it just takes a lot longer also i see that this is mostly played in casual and uh, it's going to be annoying to watch low level players play it or a lot of low low, low level players um i think it will make even uh, lower skilled players um more infuriating to deal with because I feel that they're going to use their ability often and they're just going to keep looking at the ground, they're pissed out and therefore they're not looking at what's ahead of them and it's easier for them to get picked off. Um, the way you're supposed to use a jackal is you're supposed to use it sparingly. Um, just quickly turn it on and the room is clear, look for any footprints and then turn it off and follow that general direction and then slowly check again. You're not supposed to always hold out the ability, I don't know, it's like IQ where you press it and it holds out the whole time and you have to manually switch it back or it's going to be more like Kavera where she activates it as a ability cooldown but just to let you know, do not always use this ability at all time and always looking at floor looking at the footprints that's gonna get you killed that's gonna be annoying it's it's, it's gonna be bad just look at it for like a couple of seconds kind of guess the direction of where the footprints going and then check those corners um, that's the best way to use them but really if you're a high level play you always check all your corners before you clear a room you do a quick peek on every single corner you pre-fire so this just kind of adds a little confirmation of what you are been doing at a high level play. So this, I feel like he's meant for lower skilled players. But the thing is, lower skilled players would not know how to use them. And it, it, it's kind of redundant in that fact. Now, I do have some concerns. Does the How long do these footprints last? Uh, I feel like these if these footprints are around 10 seconds, I think it should show up. So it's more recent. Uh, if it lasts for the whole match, uh, you can just be falling footprints forever or there's hundreds of footprints everywhere on the uh, defender side So it's kind of hard to tell on that and then how can you just distinguish? 
whose footprints are what, which defender. It, it makes a huge difference if you know what kind of defender you are chasing. So I don't know about uh, that yet until we actually see uh, the gameplay or when I get my hands on it. With that being said, let me know what you guys think. Make, uh, let me know what you think about the female defender, uh, I, what she'll bring. I think she'll be a lot more useful than what the Jackal offers right now. I'm going to just go ahead and show you some fun community fan art that I found that <laughs> makes this uh, just make a more lighthearted stuff in our life. This comes from Reddit uh, by Pimpmaster McGooby. He says, let the yokai clean up footprints. <laughs> and then it was a Roomba uh, or Roomba. Uh, to show it off. This next trailer footage is shown by Kuba Samawar on YouTube. Siempre dejan algo atrás. No! God! No! God! Please, no! 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 So we know what weapons a jackal already has. Um, it was in my previous video where if you need to look it up, it's called uh, Jackal Weapons Loadout. But uh, this is a real life version of that gun. And it's basically an AR based on uh, M16 AR-15. It's a nine mm carbine feeding from a 33 round Glock magazine. So there's no UMP or MP7 similarities or design features beyond being submachine guns. Here I want to show off of a little insight of us how we understand the development process uh, when it comes to games. So in this specific uh, process is Rainbow Six Siege in the DLC operators and if we can actually learn a lot of how game design comes from a very long standing point and that uh, it's not something that it, it, they can quickly shell out. Anyways, let's go ahead and read it. This comes by Reddit user DWALX96 or Dwal96. Uh, we are always listening to what our community comes up with. He came up with this back in January 12, 2016. Their name will be Forensic. He's an attacker that can see enemies' footprints of where they have been. And his job is mainly to find roamers of the game on the defender side or maybe giving you directional clues of where the objective is if you fail to find it. And maybe they can have black light type of gadget to uh, find the footprints on the ground so the gadget doesn't look exactly like IQs or something LL. And also, the more faded the footprints tells you how more recent it was. And Rainbow Six replied, this is an interesting idea, passing along. So, you know, he probably thought, like, oh my gosh, I was the one who, who told Ubisoft to come up with this new uh, operator and, you know, it's my idea and, you know, I should get the credit. Well, actually, let's, let's stand back and actually look at this from an industry standpoint. In response to this article, this Reddit user, Gunmaster95, says he might have been in development for years and just didn't get completed or slotted to finish until DLC season. Source, I'm a AAA developer and fans post ideas that we've already building all the time. We often aren't copying them. They happen to post stuff we already work on. That said, we totally get inspiration from post ideas sometimes too just not all the time. And then Epi, you know, Rainbow Six Siege community manager, well loved and received, it's Epi, uh, said confirmed. So basically uh, this is already telling us that Ubisoft has probably already working on this DLC character when the game was being still made, like before the DLCs came out, before season one came out, like while they're still making the game, they already had this operator idea. And they're like, guys, we can't finish this in time. And right now we need to focus on these main operators. So let's go ahead and shelve him for now. And then uh, if, if we are gonna continue working and building upon the game, then let's bring him out for DLC season. So that's, that's kind of gives you an idea that Ubisoft already had this operator planned for a while and that, um, they finally have time to work on it and fully flesh out and implement it. Uh, also about the gun master is the more I read about the posts regarding him, uh, he is a Bungie developer. So he made uh, or worked on Destiny on PS4 and Xbox One and PS3 and Xbox 360. So, and he worked on the DLCs as well as the expansions for Destiny on those titles. So 
that's pretty neat insight. I thought that's something that uh, you guys should think about. Like that games is just not quickly made and can be fixed right away. It's a long process. So when you develop a game, you have to think three years out before what consumers think on the final launch day. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Oh, oh yeah. If you guys want year two season pass, it's in the description and you want to copy the games in the description. Thanks.